there's a lot of essential items that go into a go bag. There's a, there's a lot of planning that's required to get a go bag that's right for you. What are your needs? What are the kind of things you'd like to do when you're out operating? I'm gonna show you in this video what I do, why I do it, maybe this will benefit you. If you have to hike in to any destination, carrying just what you need is important. And you always gotta to remember to save room for water, food and water. You're gonna need snacks if you're out hiking. Manufacturers of camera bags have really come up with some amazing designs that not only protect your gear, but they make it easy to get access to the stuff that you need to on a moment's notice. What's different from a camera bag from a regular backpack is the fact that the layout inside is usually set up so that you can get to your gear. Unlike a normal backpack, when you throw gear in, everything kind of goes to the bottom. And that's not good for operating because the stuff that you need is always at the bottom and never at the top. So there's a reason why these bags are more expensive than a normal backpack. And I've used many backpacks over the years from the cheap backpack that you would get at the sporting goods store where you throw your clothes in, junk into a bag and off you go. And trying to make that work with your ham radio gear. And I've also used those military bags where they've got the uh, rucksacks where you've got all the little connectors and the fittings all over the bag. They look really cool and you can put stuff on it. But in the end for me, it wasn't really very, that practical. And no matter how I set it up, I always had a hard time getting to the gear that I wanted when I need to use it. This is a bag I purchased on my own a few years ago and wanted to share this experience with you. This bag is a camera bag. It's the USA Gear model S17. It comes in different colors. I picked this one up in the orange model because when I got it where I got it, it was actually on sale. So I'm gonna empty this bag, show you what kind of space you have available to put your gear in. All right, now with the bag empty, mostly empty, I'm gonna go through the different pockets and why I use and why I think this is a really good bag to operate with. Starting here with the top pouch, this is the perfect size here for my use where I can put the KX2 inside of here. You can fit any other radio that you want. And what the beauty part of this thing is, is the slot opens up and lets you have access to the bag inside. Camera bags are designed generally is with Velcro and this material here where the Velcro will stick. So as a general rule, you can move the different compartments around to suit your needs, and that's a good thing. This bag also has a rain cover here that if you're in, in bad weather conditions, this thing unfolds and it will cover the entire bag so you can carry it on your back and everything will stay dry. Built-in slot for it here on the side. The top part of the lid has a zippered compartment here and I'll put my pen pencil maybe more than one, and of course a sharpener. Great for logging. There's a side pouch on the other side of the bag here where I'll put headphones and any other accessory that I might want to take. Now I'm gonna load the bag up as I go along to kind of show you how it works for me. Your application will be different, but this just gives you that idea. It just worked out for me this way, but my Low Pro that holds the KX2 is a perfect fit for the top of this bag. It slides right in. What's nice is the padding on the outside of this thing is great for protecting your radio. I also have enough room for a small logbook. Quick access to the radio, good to go. Now the next compartment and the main compartment is the front pouch, the front access. It's basically an open bay to put all your junk. Normally the bag will come with slots of different compartment dividers that you can put in here. I took mine out because this space in here is big enough for me to put my gear in and get access to. Anything you put in here that goes to the bottom is easily accessible. It's got a wide and op open mouth that you can get to, get to and see all your gear in case you've forgotten something or you don't know what you're carrying to begin with. It's an easy way to see what you have. Now in the door to this compartment are a couple of fold out flaps. Again, everything's Velcroed, no zippers. This bottom pouch is where I keep my three different colors and, and lengths of micro paracord because you never know what you're gonna need when you're out in the field. The top pouch is where I'll keep a roll of electrical tape and of course an Anderson power pole power splitter. Now for the main compartment, I'll usually carry two different antennas. One is a backup in case the first one fails for whatever the reason. My go-to and primary antenna for backup purposes is my link dipole for 20 and 40 meters. And of course my newly added um, trail in fed 10, 20 and 40 meter in fed antenna. Where I need extra power, I'll want extra power. I'll take my 8400 milliamp lithium battery and of course my coax is 25 feet of RG174 and I keep that on my one of my Soda Beams uh, blue line winders. These things are invaluable if you've never used one of these before. 
And depending on the outing or the whatever event I'm going to do, I'll take this extra cable. This is another 25 feet of RG58C slash U, and I think it's um, it's from my buddy pole system. And it's the Milspec C17, and I still have room to go if I need to add more stuff. Camera people have learned that having a bag, having access to your bag from the side is a big advantage. You might need to get access to something, some coax or some other fitting, and having this side access is perfect. Side pouches on these are great for putting spare connectors. Barrel connectors, BNC to PL259, SO239. Whatever you use for your rig, that stuff can go right in here, and it's easy to get to. The way these pouches are designed and shaped, I know that that's where all my gear is gonna go, my little adapters are gonna fit, and so I don't have to label them, I just know that's where they're gonna be. This front access panel is another perfect place to put spare center insulators, some alligator clips for doing fine adjustments on your antenna if you need it, or any other small fitting that you need to have to fit into these little pockets. All right, now into the back of the bag. So far, everything about this bag is real super simple and easy to get to, and that's the way I like this. Now what's particularly useful with this bag is the back pockets. It's got this open slot where I have that little piece of rubber mat. It's the kind that they interlock together and they make a large mat when you're putting it on your garage floor or something like that. There are plenty of times when you're out operating, at least summits on the air, and maybe even parks on the air where you have nowhere to sit. And having one of these little mats, some sort of a gardening mat or something to sit on, is a great way to have a little bit of comfort when you're out operating. I trim this one down to fit right inside. Now if that wasn't enough, the side of this bag opens up and you have a laptop and other gear that you want to carry. This is a perfect size to fit most small laptops. And for me, what I'm using this for is a fold-up chair. This fold-up chair is perfect because there's plenty of times where I'll have to sit on that ground mat and I can use this for my table to put the radio on. And this chair fits right in the back side. All right, the last part of this bag is the fact that it can hold a tripod. Photographers will put the leg of the tripod in here and use the top strap to hold that thing in place while they're hiking out to their photo shoot. So the way I use this thing is I take my two portable masks, my 10 car fishing rods, and I'll put them inside the pouch just like that. Because my masks are so small, there's plenty of room for those and a couple of ground stakes to keep them in place for when I get to an activation site. Of course, I always take a couple of these, two if not more, if I've got them, spare, and take them on the activation. These are great for holding everything together. And of course, this bag has all the flexibility and the padding that you need for those long hikes. You get the, the shoulder straps and of course, the waist belt as well. So overall, this bag is super comfortable. All my gear is protected and I have fast access to everything and it's built really well. You have to figure that photographers spent all that money, thousands and thousands of dollars on camera gear. They want that stuff protected. And a camera bag for ham radio gear is an excellent choice for that. If we're heading out for the weekend or we're heading out for a drive or I need to go activate something right away, this thing's ready to go. I grab the handle and I'm out the door. One of the things about portable operating is you have to go through these stages of setting up your gear and deciding what you need to take. There are plenty of times when I can overpack and this bag will not be enough for me. But as a general rule, this thing is ready to go. All right, so there's my bag. That's my USA Gear S17 model camera bag that I use for my portable operating, my get out and go bag. Maybe a camera bag like this could benefit you for your operating needs and how you want to set up your gear. Make sure you click that like button down below, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching 7.3 for now. See you on the next video.